the building's about 300 and something years old, but it's only been a sweet shop for about 12 years now. And I thought a sweet shop would fit in quite well with the historic nature of the, the street as well. I think it's something a lot of kids uh, aspire to, you know, owning their own sweet shop, and uh, never really left me, so... Supermarkets tend to be depersonalised. I think what a small independent business gives you is um, uh, more of a personal touch. You know, everyone that comes in this shop, for example, gets a good welcome and, and a good cheerio when they go. And um, that's just not that's just not available in, in large depersonalised supermarkets. Well, it's obviously more personal service. I think you've got a much bigger selection because if you go in a supermarket and look down the sweet aisles, you know, you're very limited as, as to what's available there. Being an independent businessman, I would, I would have to say uh, it would be better for, to have an independent outlet. Um, but unfortunately we can't turn the clock back and um, whilst there are one or two traditional sweet shops still, still around, um, largely they've gone. I think York's always had uh, a big tradition of chocolates and sweet, sweet making. A lot of it's moved away now, there's still one or two. Uh, a lot of it's moved away, um, but, but the tradition's still there. Bye.